This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the elect. It's the brother Yohanathan, coming from the Great Millstone. Saw Great Millstone was pumped, came back again with another lesson, praying it is edifying. Now, the water, Yahweh Bahashem, Shah, for this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, through the Holy Spirit, okay, just like how it says in Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6, it says, Wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of thy times, man. Okay, so when it's a lot of chaos here going on in the streets, hey, we have the wisdom and the knowledge that's going to give us stability, which we are going to be stable in the times to come, man. All right, now you've, you've seen the video playing at the beginning, man, and that's why I started with Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, man. Our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. All right. And to be honest, I wasn't going to make a lesson on this, but the spirit was just like, man, make a make a lesson on it, man. OK, now let's go to Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter four. OK, Jeremiah chapter four, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. Right. OK. And again, the heavenly father says for my people. So the heavenly father is speaking to a group of people and that people being who the israelites you so-called negroes latinos and native americans okay also you israelite foreigners all right that have been scattered amongst these different nations but your lineage goes back unto the house of jacob okay but nevertheless right it says my people jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 for my people is foolish they have not known me. They are sottish children. What does sottish mean? Sottish means stupid, man. Okay, now when you go into the comments, and as I was scrolling up on the comments, man, all you see is vain opinions. All you see is the uh, the 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 so-called black woman on there. You seen the effeminate uh, so-called black man on there, man. Just speaking vain opinions, man. Okay. And that's why we know, hey, the Heavenly Father ain't dealing with these people, man. All right? Hey, that's why it says, hey, pray not for these people, okay? All these people do is speak against the scriptures, man, okay? So, again, they are sottish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. And it's speaking about a two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man. And we see that here today. We see that, man. Okay. Now, usually these uh these pastors in these churches are a hey, nine times out of ten, they wrong, man. But in this instance, a hey, the pastor, the Jake was right. Okay. It says in the book of First Corinthians, okay, the eleventh chapter. Look at let's go over there. First Corinthians chapter eleven, uh, verse fourteen. And it says, does not nature, so like, does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? Okay. So, hey, the scriptures even say it. If a man has long hair, it is a shame unto him. Now, the main thing that these Jakes always, these wicked Jakes always want to bring up, they want to bring Samson, man. Okay, but guess what? Here at Great Millstone, what do we do? We go into the words, man. OK, um, the etymology, etymology meaning the study of words and we go into these words. OK, and we break these words down, man. Now, when you go into the book of Judges, uh, Judges, the 16th chapter. OK. And all right, Judges, chapter 13, verse 16, if we get that word lock, OK, because every time Jake talk about Samson, they think that Samson had. Uh, dreadlocks, but he did it. Okay. Now let's go into the word. Also, Samson was a Nazarite. Okay. But let's go into the word locks or let's see if I can grab it. Third, let's see. Um, bear me one second. Okay. So when you go into that word lock, it means a braid lock or plait. 
Okay, so he had braids. Samson had braids, man. He, <clears throat> he didn't have no damn dreadlocks, man. He didn't have no damn bunks. He didn't have no damn long hair, man. All right, there's no contradictions in, in the scriptures, man. All right, it tells you in the book of Malachi that what? The heavenly father changes not, man. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. It says, for I am the Lord, Yahweh. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, man. So the heavenly father does not change. There isn't no contradictions in the scriptures, man. But again, going back to Hosea 4 and 6 and Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Hey, hey these are sodish. All right, sodish meaning stupid, man. They have none understanding. Okay, all our people are good for is scoffing. All our people are good for our... our all uh, two thirds of our people are good for is being wicked unto the Lord, man. And we see why the Lord is going to kill two thirds of them, man. All right, sixty six point six of the nation of Israel, man. We see why, okay? Because because of their wicked deeds, man. It tells you in John. Let's go to the book of John. Okay. Bear with me one second. Um. Man, let me see. I know I was in that chapter, but... John 3 and 19. Okay, and this is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light is coming into the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil, man. You see, men love darkness rather than light, man. And we see that, okay? Our people are wise to do evil, man. Our people are wise to do the opposite of the ways of the Bible, man. All right? And people always look crazy when we see a hey, two-thirds of our people are going to die, man. If you keep doing what's adverse to the scriptures, and you're going to be destroyed. But people want to look crazy at that. People want to buck up, okay? But it's self-explanatory, man, okay? So going back to 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, where it tells you, okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14, it says, Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him, you see? So if a man has long hair, it is a shame unto him, okay? So again, hey, the pastor, hey, he finally got it right this time, man. And you've seen all those jakes down in the comments, man. I ain't seen not one so-called Edomite person in that comment, man. It was straight jake, okay? And another thing which they're wrong on, okay, that image of uh, um, uh, uh, Chesy or Caesarea Borgia, okay, trying to say that, you know, our Lord, whose true name is Yahweh Shah, you know, had long hair, which is another lie, man. Okay, we understand our people don't read these scriptures, man. Our people don't read the Bible, man. And that's why it says in the book of Isaiah, the 28th chapter, and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men, okay? Because they don't actually read the scriptures, all right? They listen to what the next man has to say, and they move off that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3, blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand, man. Blessed is he that readeth. You got to be reading these scriptures, man. You can't be going off what the next man says. Nah, you have to read it for yourself, okay? And that's what our people don't do, all right? They don't read these scriptures. They don't actually take the time to sit down and read. And the next thing is, hey, you can read these scriptures, hey, but if the Holy Spirit ain't dealing with you, you're not going to be able to understand what's actually going on, man. It says, in, um, matter of fact, we're going to get that next, man, Isaiah the 28th chapter. But let's first... Let's get Revelation chapter 1 and let's start at verse, okay, let's start at verse uh, verse 13. And in the midst of seven candlesticks, one like unto the one like unto the Son of Man, 
clothed with a garment down to the foot and girth about the paps with a girt a golden girdle and his head and his hair hairs were white like wool and and white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire okay so his head and his hair were white like wool okay so as as his head as well as his beard was white like wool okay wool going into a uh, sheep you know sheep hair and that's today you could liken that unto a so-called negro okay so our lord did not have no long hair like the the depiction of uh caesar borgia okay because that um that image of jesus christ Okay, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus, I mean, Salaki, who this world calls Jesus Christ, that depiction is Cesare or Caesar Borgia. Okay, our Lord came from the tribe of Judah. He was a Hebrew. All right, the letter J was invented or uh, came out in 1524, and our Lord walked the scene way before then, man. So his name could not start with a J. And when you go into the Hebrew alphabet, Okay, the Paleo Hebrew alphabet, there is no character J, man. Okay, but again, our people are sottish, man. They're stupid. All right, even when you go into a 1611, okay, KJV, uh, KJ, uh, KJV Bible, there is no letter J in there, man. All right, but again, our people are sottish, man. They're stupid. They have none understanding, man. All right, and that's why when these calamities hit, ain't nobody going to mourn or cry for you people, man. Okay, so again... Our Lord, again, okay, had um, his hair was like white, like wool. All right. Now, do the research for yourself. Look up what wool is. Okay. And it says, verse 15, in his feet, like unto fine brass. Now, um, uh, brass is a derivative of brown. All right. So if you have a penny, go look at a penny. Okay, that's brown. Okay, so again, his feet like unto fine brass, as if they, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sounds of many waters. Okay, so again, our Lord was a so-called black man. Okay, really was a brown man. Okay, not like no East uh, Elam, not like no Ind East Indian. Nah. He looked like a so-called black man here today in Babylon the Great, man. Okay, so again, you guys don't go into the scriptures, but yet you're so loud in, and you're so loud in your ignorance, man. You're so loud and wrong. Okay, so let's get the book of Isaiah, the 28th chapter, man. You know, we got to defend this gospel, man, because hey, if you let it, if you let it up to these people, hey, that will let our Lord be a, a, a so-called white dude with long brown hair, man. So we got to defend this gospel, man. We got to make full proof of this ministry. We have to go into these scriptures. We got to debunk these vain, uh, vain philosophies, man. We got to debunk when you say something wrong, man, okay? Us, Lord willing, being those men, okay? Isaiah chapter 28, verse 7, they, they, they also... They uh, but they also have erred through wine and through strong drink are out the way. The priests and the prophets have erred through strong drink and they are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. For tables are full of vomit and filthiness so that there is no place clean. Whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand? Um, let me see if this is the one I want. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Salakia. So this is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 9. Say yourselves, stay yourselves in wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not of wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For the heavenly father, Yahweh, have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes. The prophets and rulers, the seer have he covered. You see, so the heavenly father has put upon our people the spirit of deep sleep, man. These people are spiritually zombies, man. They walking, okay, but they ain't seeing, man. 
Okay, they they they're hearing, but they really ain't listening. Verse eleven: In the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed, which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, "Read this, I pray thee." And he said, "I cannot, for it is sealed." And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, "Read this, I pray thee." And he said, "I am not learned." Wherefore the Lord said, "For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me." But have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. You see, so we see that. Okay, these people don't truly fear the Heavenly Father. All right? They they fear what uh, Esau. Okay? They fear what the so-called white man has said, man. All right? And when you go into that word heart, going back to the Hebrew, really going back into your mind. La, uh, laya, if I'm not mistaken. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, man. OK, so it says they have removed their heart going back into mind far from me. OK, these people don't think about the heavenly father, man. And that's why hey, going to Zechariah, the 13th chapter, OK, in the eight verses says hey, that they're going to be cut off and die, man, All right, for their ignorance. Now, let's get the book of Titus. And I'm going to wrap this lesson up. This is the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 16. They profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and an end unto every good work reprobate. Okay? So these people profess that they know the Most High, but they don't even know his name. They say they profess... They, they 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 profess that they know the most high, but they got long men still have long hair running down their back, man. Okay, women still being harlots. They still eating pork shrimp, crab, and lobster, man. So that's why it says and worse, they deny him, man. Okay. So just wanted to bring this quick lesson. Didn't want to make it too long, man. But you know, our people are finished, okay? You know, so Lord and this lesson was edifying to the next time, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, or Kakodaj, the honors to the apostles and elders. A great milestone, everyone. Peace, blessed to the elect. Till next time, Shalom, Mababa, Ba, Kwame, Shalom.